The small town of Camino, California in the heart of El Dorado County is home to the agricultural region and tourist area known as Apple Hill. And one of the longest established families in the area are the Larsons, who first started farming apples here in the late 1800s. From 1975 to the year 2000, Earl Larson managed the farming operations with his father Raymond. And rumor has it that there might be an old car stored here in one of Earl's barns. It would seem the rumors are true. Now this is a lot of fun for me. These old barn finds are getting more and more rare. So, let's see what we've got underneath the cover. Years of dirt and dust. But look at this beautiful straight grill. What we have here is a 1966 Chrysler New Yorker. So far, everything on this car is looking pretty good. Body straight, interior's all there with minor damage. Let's see what's got under the hood. Well, it's definitely the big block. Uh, so 413 or 440. Looks amazingly complete. All right, it's time to get this car outside. The headliner and the dash are in beautiful condition. The odometer looks like it reads 8,946 miles. We have to assume that it's 108,000 original miles. Some technical specifications. We ran the VIN number. This is the 440 V8 engine, the four barrel carburetor. It's a 727 torque flight transmission. As near as I can tell, it's all original. This is what the car came with. The only other option this year for a motor was a extreme high performance dual carbureted 440. This has a single four barrel and has plenty of power. This car still has the dealer Serta card. Since the engine turns over, we're going to go ahead and put in some new spark plugs, change out all the fluids and try and get it to run. Yeah, the belts and hoses are junk, so we're gonna replace those. And it needs a new alternator. International Make-A-Will Month. So make or update your will today. Or get a living trust and receive a pour-over will.
All right, Earl, you've got this cool old car in your barn. How did it come to be in your barn? Well, this is a 66 Chrysler New Yorker. It was bought by my father in 1965, for he and his wife. And uh, they drove it for many years, and then in about 1980, they parked it in the garage and been here ever since. And uh, amazingly, it's in pretty good shape. I had gotten it out and, and started it up uh, once or twice in the last 20 years, just to see if it was still, still all there. <laughs> and uh, it's a big boat compared to the cars nowadays. This car looks good. It runs good. For an unrestored car that's nearly 46 years old, it's in amazing condition. But the reality is it is still a used car. So, let's take a look at a couple things that aren't 100%. There are a number of door dings and chips in the paint. This is definitely not a show quality paint job. This windshield is not chipped or broken, but there's a slight scratch where a bad windshield wiper did some damage. That might be able to be polished out. One issue is that this driver's door doesn't quite shut all the way and it needs a little bit of adjustment. Also, this is as far down as the driver's window will roll. There's some definite flaws in the interior. This back of the seat has gotten a little bit loose. There's something stuck in the carpet down there. The driver's seat definitely shows wear and uh, it's worn through in a couple of spots on the carpet on the driver's side on the floor. Mechanically, there's a couple of minor issues and maybe one major issue. The minor issues are that the carburetor should be rebuilt, the accelerator pump is not working, and the brakes pull to the right and there may be a slight leak in one of the wheel cylinders. Um, a major mechanical item is that the transmission is a little bit slow going into gear. Sometimes it goes into gear kind of hard. Maybe it just needs to be serviced, Maybe those are signs of something bigger. Overall, mechanically, this car is functional, but just wanted you to be aware of some of the less than perfect items. While most of the chips and dings are minor, they've got a pretty good sized dent here on the wheel skirt. I've had a lot of fun tinkering with this old car. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'm going to be sorry to see it go, but it uh, hits eBay on Thursday, the 28th of July. And we'll come off on Sunday, I believe it's August 4. So it's going to be a no reserve auction starting at $1. The high bid gets this car. So I hope to see you on eBay and uh, hope to see you on the road.